All right, guys. Well, here we are. It was just fun. Ashton versus Alan Diss. Ashton pulling out that 3-0 against Enharmonia to put himself in this heat. Who was finally one last stop before Grands. So far, Ashton with a little bit of a lead here. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. She was on the other foot here. Allen with a little bit of a lead, and Ashton with a little bit of a deficit here. 103 to 16. I'm gonna see if we can catch Nate here. Tough spot to be in too, because you can see he was charging the fire with good purpose. But unfortunately, holding shield and giving Snake that dash attack opportunity is gonna be so big. Dash attack has good startup and a lot of active frames here, but that second hit of that fourth hole is enough to get Ash and Al with such a lead. You know he wants to win that back against Aping Man. Yeah, nice. Good boomerang into forward air. There's the fire on Wow, that's a cheeky upper. I would have never imagined that confirming, but here we are. Nice. This is an excellent empty hop mix up here just to get that grab against Alan Diz, giving him some time on center stage. And the fortune has got some grenades to fight against here. Oh, good, good on the Nikita, too. It covers right in front of him, and then Ash and I actually have to play around that zone. One thing that I know also, to also notice for young one called the reverse hit that you see brings up to the front hit, and that's the stock. Quick way to finish that thought. But one thing to note about Young Link too is the fact that you can actually challenge Snake Cypher with Young Link's down air. You just have to be careful because a lot of commitment it requires an indefinite read on that situation. Shadow Shield. Nice. We confirmed him into the down there. That's a lot of damage. Not enough for the stock here. Four throw. Ashen is slowly making this comeback here. 152 to 97. That's a forward egg? Yes. Tough spot too, because Alan didn't have to go for that roll, but that roll definitely cost him here. Double back air, almost with a re grab, would have been such a good one, but that's a good hero swing to get that coverage afterwards here. 34. Looking for the lining, nice. He's still out of shield. He demonstrates the fact that, oh, nice. The, just, be, just because he can go for a neutral out of shield means that he has enough time. He's only a really, really good option out of shield. You see a lot of coming in both Young Link and actually Link as well. Ashton has not only brought this back, he's kind of stolen this from Island just. Downer? Yep. Those are the rare situations where downer is much better than upper or forwarder just because the, if there's enough knockback and he's more towards center stage. And it's super worth going because it's really hard to amount for the DI on that one. Because it's kind of a mix up at that point. Back. Nice. I'm back and I, I see Ashton won the first game. Matchup is really hard. <laughs> really, really hard. <laughs> yeah, basically in this matchup, uh, you just you just don't want to fight mid range versus young link. Yeah, you don't. I mean, most of the time you don't, but especially with Snake, just because if you try to like use your grenades from there, you're just gonna get intercepted by arrows. One, 
put a boomerang and then you won't be able to set up. Any anytime you can just force the boxing situation is, is good. That's sneak in this matchup in my opinion. Great crouch. That's gonna be really useful to get past the arrows. Almost. Oh, he stuck him. Nice. I like that play too. It's a little bit of a counterplay because he knows how much Ashton likes the whole shielding situation with the neutral afterwards. So it's a good punish on that situation. Gonna definitely have Ashton take a little bit more on that shield. Upper? Close, close. It's confirmed. Possibly do a forward air. Nice. He uses wow, the drag down like situation. Yeah, he uses drag down because he knows that the full, the full hit wouldn't have worked. Oh, but gotta be <laughs> paying attention to where that C4 is. Nice! What an empty hop, and he drifts back for the catch in that situation. What an excellent use of movement. For sure. Up there? Yeah. Again, he's uh, also getting grabbed just trying to like pull grenades eat as well. Even after grenade pulls too, you can see that just Ash is just looking for those little interactions where I'm like, okay, cool, I can just grab them instead of having to worry about interacting with them, and then either go for grab armor or just see how he how he reacts to it with, with a throw. Depending on where the grenade is at too. I like you said right too, for Young Link, the mid range is really good for him where a snake like he only has opportunities to set up. I'm kind of hope that Ash is going to find an opportunity to try to lead in here. Wow, cross up. Cross up was so strong. It is good too because up smash has a, has a decent enough wide arc, but it, it, like, like, like you said, right? He crossed him up. Oh, not going to give him the roll four he was looking for. Yeah, Alan just kind of fish for the up till here. Don't blame him. He, he desperately needs a kill right now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Ashton, Ashton definitely sees that he's a uh, fish for that. It's not really making it easy for him to connect the up tilt now. Oh, <gasps> Drag down, nice. Combo. Oh. Nice. That was good, that was good, that was good. Pretty much a true combo at that point, and then you guys already know, at 160, he gets the up tilt and you die. <sighs> I tried to lead him with that grab, too. So close. Nikita saving him at the end of the day. Ashton pretty much working up on this 2-0 here. Nice. Go to Alan Dis though. He, he kind of sees how he fucked that he jumped and he perfectly had that C4 in the next oh. time. Did he get the stick? Can no, it's in center stage, center stage. I just saw it too. He was very close to it though. Oh man. The grenade got popped in his face from a boomerang. <laughs> Go on Ashton too, look at that, he dressed a little bit back here because he knows he doesn't want to be too close to that C4 there. Even if it doesn't kill, it's going to be big on stick. Ooh, oh, tough spot, tough spot. Oh my goodness, the Nikita barely connected. <laughs> Just barely connected before he could grab the ledge. <sighs> barely connected indeed, and Alan Dis clutches it out 1-1, one, one. and all came from that read too, he kind of read him with a down smash. I was yep. able to kind of confirm that all the way around. Yeah, like luckily for Snake in this matchup, even if he's, you know, losing by a lot, it doesn't take much for him to kill. He does, a, he does so much damage and has so much knockback, especially with Rage. Very effective in this uh, in this matchup versus Young League. Just finding that opening is really difficult most of the time. Oh, game three, you guys already know the story here. Pretty big benefactor to whoever wins this one. Two, one go. Yeah, I'm 
I don't know. I want to see why he wants Battlefield in this matchup because I think this is a really good snake stage. Even missing the first hit of the up smash is still connecting this two hits that matter. That could have been really bad trade for, uh, for Alan. Alright, he's just blown by his own grenades, bro. Like, Ashton's just, yeah, he's just hanging back. He's not running into the grenades that much at all. Yeah. Very patiently around it. Oh, that was good on Alan. He just had to face the other direction. It would have been such a good catch on the wall. I think Ashton is being very well aware of where these C4s are being stuck. He has it kind of fallen for every single one of them. Yep, back hit to the front hit. 112. Unfortunately, he doesn't connect all the strong hits. The world definitely didn't have a stock, but still good in terms of percent. And he still has the lead. Ooh, snuck under him with that up air. Yeah, and this is a pretty big lead for the young Link. Especially the way Ashton's playing, it's not going to be uh, easy for Alan just to you know, get in on this guy. There. I know he wanted to read here, but I think back there would have good just to specifically throw him off the stage and go for the stun. I was gonna say Ashen is no slouch. He hasn't fallen for a single C4 just yet. Oh drag down fair to up smash, not enough. Still good though. He's been getting those drag down fairs quite often. Oh, oh. oh the grenade. Might have saved Alan just life, but okay. That's There's the actual final. Yeah, he caught he caught him in the empty hop. If you connected that boomerang close range, that would have been forward and it would have been curtains for Snake here. Pressure on the shield a little bit. Force the jump. Yes, there it is. 146. He sees the C4. Nice. Yeah, See what I'm saying? Ashen has been catching like, that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the difference between this game and the last one, but yeah, he's not getting caught by C4 anymore. I know him. I know you can actually just, you know, if you hear Snake do the, the C4, like whatever he says. Yeah. You can react to that audio cue in shield a lot of time if you're not oh, in the Oh, says is there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ashton hasn't fallen for a single C4, but he's also so excellent at pressuring Alan that, like, he knows when he's jumping. I've even called it at this point, so good stuff to him, man. He def definitely demonstrates some yeah. bread and butter young man plays. I already noticed Alan's problem even from the the Rob match earlier is he relies a lot on uh, jumping to set up his like grenade traps and if the opponent's paying attention to that they just keep hitting him wherever yeah. he tries to jump. It's, uh, it's not as oppressive as when Rob catches snake jumping like that but it still can be really bad if Young Link does. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I agree with you on that. I mean, I've played in so many fighting games. Jumping in neutral is the last thing you want to do because you can get whiff punished so hard. Unless you can, but then you just nair because you know your nair has like a ridiculous box. Yeah, but with Snake, he just doesn't have really good air mobility. Like you, he, he doesn't. Only can move well in the air is with Beerverse, but even that's very predictable. Exactly, and then, like you say, he doesn't have a lot of movement in the air, even though his nair is pretty solid. All right, well, we come to a bigger stage here with Kalos. Kind of going to give Ash a little bit more space to run around here against the the obvious, right? Grenades, C4s, Snake himself. But it also kind of works in vice versa for Snake here. A little bit more space to kind of run around from those projectiles from Young Link here. Good confirm from the down smash, but able to kind of clank through with the Nair against him. He unfortunately got caught in the arrows. Okay. Alan with the lead here. Early one half back. 45%. Ashen's got a lot of homework to do, man. He's gonna make that comeback. Can be done, though. Even I have procrastinated my homework, if I'm being honest. Back throw. So close. And I don't think, I don't think Alan's gonna fall for that every single time. Oh, okay. Ooh, just struck 
action, man. Huge, huge for it, dude. This, this lead is it, insane right now. So uh, it looks like Ashton is looking to never turn in the homework and possibly turning in late, so we'll see how that happens. <laughs> um, yeah, the forward is so good. Just because the specific situation where Young Link's hurt box, his head is actually there when he goes for Hero Spin, and he already committed to it. So even if he started Hero Spin, Snake's forward, I think could have actually been there. This is the first time I've seen Alan actually go for that couch. And yeah, he was doing a lot in the first game, but yeah, yeah, it's really good for the arrows. And if they do a lazy boomerang, you can probably crouch under his as well. Not enough knockback. Yeah, 144. Next one should, yeah. should definitely do it, though. Good on him to start the first opportunity on the Nikita because it drops down, right? And he can cause Ashton to kind of have to be careful when going for aerials or hold shields. A lot, lot of plays there for Alan to kind of stall his descent. Yep. This is definitely turned to a snake stage too, because like I mentioned earlier, gives him space to kind of run around young Link's projectiles, vice versa. Yep. It's also a big stage too, so he's gonna live long, even when you know he's already heavy. Yeah. And he can go to those higher ceilings too. You've been seeing it all game long. There. Yeah, good on Ashton. I lost track of the C4, but I know he didn't. There's a grab. That's a down throw to back, guard back air. Good on him, too, because even if he would have gotten back throw, what he's looking for in this scenario is percent. He already knows Snake can make the recovery on that and Cypher, so might as well just give him back to the stage and do more percent. Could be a Zera? Yeah. Careful on the Oh, no. I was about to say careful on yeah. the roll. Yeah, he was scared of grenades, so he rolled from ledge. And then, you know, that's, a, that's like the basic ledge trap with Snake there. Just have yeah. the, the mortar cover the roll. And I totally respect it, too, because, like, if he had been lower percent, that would have been okay to take the grenade. But the problem is that he was a higher percent, so he could have lost the stock on the game. I think he should have just held shield and just jumped. He has the other platform. Yep. That's, that's like the thing about Kalos. Kalos yeah, yeah. That's the thing about Kalos. You have that other platform. But hey, man, only Ashton knows what Ashton is doing in that situation. He's the one on the sticks. He's the one here in Losers Finals, not me. Just calling it how I see it. Still doing an excellent job here. Game five. Yeah. I'm very impressed with uh, the way Alan was able to bring this back, especially with that forward air spike. Ready? Yeah, well, right let's see, let's see where uh, Ashton's going to take Snake here. Yeah, last game of the set to game five. Get Three, two, one, go! Yeah, I had a feeling it might be FT. Let's see if he's able to uh, use the stage to the fullest. Okay, crouch again. <laughs> yep. He should just, if he knows he's going to use the arrows, he should just use the crouch to get close to uh, Young Link. Yeah, that's a smart play. It's, it's a good kind of play, I, and it closes the gap. The thing I do with crouch with Snake is I'll hold a grenade after his Z-dropping, and then I'll just crouch while like you know approaching them with the grenade. So, uh, if I get close enough, I just hold shield again and, uh, it's like grenade in their face like that. Yeah, sneak in a little bit of percent. Rank, cover the low, reads the high. Oh, and he executes that cypher. I would have never seen that coming from Alan, but hey, man, more to him. Survives that forward air. Lift to fight another day. Nah, that's a situation there where back throw is really good. Because he's no longer looking for percent. He already has it. Nice. Goes for that empty oh. hop. I like the way that he pulled that grenade because it kind of scared Ash and think it was cool. like it could have been like a C4 player. Up there? Yeah. Now I know I'm supposed to be talking about the game, man, but I'm gonna be real when I say this. Not every song is Smash is perfect to fight with. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the worst song I would imagine. Like I would not want to hear. Yeah, it's not very game five appropriate. Oh, 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 
Okay, luckily you had the stock weed. Yeah, but it's too much to sacrifice. If you would have hit that that last hit of hero spin, he probably could have made it back because he would have faced better at that situation. He might have made it think, but he would have faced the situation better. Tough call though. This lead looking to my to kind of slowly escape Ashton. Look at Alan Diz here, 85 to 64. Never mind. Time to correct it here. 103. Yeah, they're both just throwing their projectiles at each other, but it's just funny because both their projectiles like clank with each other. Oh, okay, you're right here C4. Oh man, so much pressure there, but misses his grab. Okay, I like that recovery. Using the <gasps> grenade pull. Close to because he was Very so close to the floor there. Very similar bot to like bomb recovery with uh with the link. Right, this stock very important here. They're both trying so hard not to make a single mistake. Mm, and speaking of mistakes here, Ashen is building up a roll habit. There's oh. the forward air, there's the stock. But like I'm saying, Ashen is building a rolling habit. Not good. He's fallen to that down smash so sorry, that up smash so many times. He's gotta be careful. <laughs> nice, <laughs> yep. At that first thing we're down throw four tilt is guaranteed. So now Alan bringing it to the last stock game five situation. Great crouch once again going under the arrow. <laughs> Grenade disrupts that. Would have been a good regrab for Ashton. Once again, that roll habit, I'm not liking it. He's looking desperate here. Usually, rolls are a sign of a little bit of a desperation. Can be used for positioning, but in Ashton's case, man, oh. Alan is so good at catching them. Yeah, and Ashton just really can't apply that much pressure right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's hanging back with all the projectiles. Oh, the grenade, man. Alan in a really good spot. <gasps> see, see nope. he read that. He read that. He was waiting for that roll get up. He was, yeah. really, he was so smart in there. Ashton has to understand that. Gotta stop rolling, man. Yeah, but he rolled the opposite way. Oh, that landing was really bad. <laughs> that landing was really bad. And yeah, that, that DI was even worse. Oh, man. That was another case of snake jumping in a spot where he didn't need to.